What's up guys, Tom here. So today we are tackling the most difficult challenge in Mortal Kombat 1, which is the seasonal challenge tower. I know very little about this, so I'm excited to see what it actually brings to the table and why people tell me it's going to make me very salty. But before we get to that guys, do me a big favor. If you've been enjoying the content, subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 30,000 subs this week. It would be awesome to hit that. But channel chilling aside, let's get started. Uh, okay, this, oh, it's a bullet hell. All right, well, this is what, it's a Mortal Kombat. Bad now. I hope that like my health doesn't carry over. Holy, this is much harder than any of the ones in invasions. But are right, we good? We good? We good? We got? We beat that one. We beat that one real nice. Scorpion reborn. Let's let's see. He's got a lot of health. So this is where this is where the huh? real challenge is, huh? And of course he has armor for no reason on a throw. What I want to know is, is it beatable? Can we do it? He does have a second phase. Well, they are bosses. What's the second phase gonna be, bro? The amount of HP they have is insane. Will there be third phases is what I'm really curious about. There's a third phase? I didn't think there'd be a third phase in a tower. Oh my God, it's, like, it's just like the Scorpion boss fight. I was actually originally gonna do a video on the, uh, on like the boss fights and invasions, but it was actually just a little bit too easy, so I didn't. Oh, oh, he's dead. I'm not going to show the fatality because Scorpion is clearly a human being, but uh, some horrible things are going to happen to him. Okay, another one of these survival challenges. No wonder this tower is called Bullet Hell. Oh my god. Oh no. Scorpion, please. Scorpion. What? Just get, just get in the corner, Scorpion. They can't hit you in the corner. This is the, this is it. This is the secret tech. Hide over here. Oh, that literally was the secret. Okay, we, we did it. Good good job. Good job, us. Dude, the reward for doing this had better be insane. Sub-Zero. Grandmaster. Oh, of course, Sub-Zero also has a phase two. This is what's more interesting though. What's he gonna do in phase two that's different? Oh, he's gonna push me away. And he's gonna start throwing spears at me. Yep, Sub-Zero phase three. I don't think I've seen a boss version of Sub-Zero. He didn't seem to do anything. Okay, he's just gonna just throw projectiles that he normally does not have. So he just got like one new move, huh? That's all your phase three is, Sub-Zero? This is a pretty good BMB without uh, any meter. Ow. Now, boss Sub-Zero wasn't really much either. All he kind of did was just throw some icicles, and then he was just still easy. And I'm uh, 30 levels below what we should be for this, so I don't, I don't see the challenge just yet. I'm waiting for it. Another survival. What's going to throw at me this time? Oh, slow projectiles. We can handle these. I don't know what this is supposed to teach me gameplay-wise, but I'm not going to die from this. It's just not, this is not going to happen. If I did this at level 1, sure. Oh, there's a challenge. Try and do it at level 1. Oh, that was easy. Not the great Kung Lao. It's Kung Lao the Great. Totally different guy. The HP, though. So is the challenge just the fact that they're bullet sponges? Because I haven't been challenged yet, and I'm probably going to regret... Oh, that was just a normalized Kung Lao. I've, I thought there'd be a boss fight. And then we just punched his head clean off. Right, the smoke sector combo could be dangerous. Is he a boss version or is he normal? I, I can't tell yet. And of course, he does have a second phase. It's weird Kung Lao didn't. All right, what could smoke second phase be? To make it all smoky so I can't see? Oh, of course. It's, it's literally exactly what I just said. But he still doesn't have much health compared to some of the other balls we've been dealing with. So it's not so bad. Oh, he's unaffected by the smoke though, of course. Oh my god, bro. I can't do anything without, like, getting all smoked up, man. Oh, so I get it. If I hit him, it gets- it, it clears up. If he hits me, it gets all smoky and dark. And now he's invisible on top. Oh, no. Make it stop. Smoke so far is the problem, for sure. Serena, make him stop. You think I don't have the timing down? You think I can't do this blindfolded? Uppercut. Uh, something. Serena, assist. Make- make him help. Help me. He got a grab after the Serena assist. Serena assist, help me. It's weird doing a combo on an invisible dude. The blood's helping me figure out where he is, which is really funny. Just do the basic BNB, don't do anything too fancy. Oh, oh, we, got, we smoked him out. Input reading, son of a bitch. No, 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 you deserve having the new brutality done against you. If I could figure out how to do it. I, I did it wrong. That was probably the hardest one because... Smoke with the invisibility is annoying enough to fight, like online. But when you have an input reading CPU doing it, it's much more annoying. Uh, cosplayer, let's get some cute. So yeah, this is an endurance fight, 100%. There's three cosplayers, huh? 
How many of them are there? Eliminating an entire band of cosplayers. All he's doing is taunting. That's all he's got. Is he gonna do something when he maxes out the taunting gauge? Is, is that what it is? That must be, like something crazy might happen when he maxes out the gauge. I think that's it. I don't wanna know. I do wanna know, but I know that uh, the way that these things work, we have to restart the whole thing. I don't wanna do that. Oh, the actual Johnny Cage to follow up all the cosplayers. That makes sense. Boss Johnny Cage, and that's something I want to deal with. With Cano Ball especially, and armor. I don't... Uh, please. I have a family. Triple nut punches, of course. Oh, he's got he's got the green stuff. Incoming! Have you seen a lot of lock on to him? <laughs> All right, Boss Johnny hasn't been so bad so far, but what's phase two Boss Johnny going to look like? Oh, he puts some makeup on. He gets even more green. Oh no, there's a phase three boss, Johnny. I didn't think he'd have three phases for some reason. And the music cut out, and he's echoing. I don't know what any of this means, but he's still falling for the same combo, so whatever. Or he's actually just that easy. He was actually just that easy. Okay, that was not difficult at all. Just, uh, you don't deserve the fatality. You just get a kick to the side, boss, Johnny. All his phase three did was cut out the music. That was it. I expected something crazy from Johnny. I don't know how much of this one I'm gonna show. I can't see shit. All I know is I'm getting circled by some balls right now, and there's all kinds of crazy uh, balls flying around on the screen. There's just balls everywhere, really. There's balls and wieners on the screen. That, that was it. Good, good job, balls. All right, what's, what's boss Kenshi gonna do? Because phase two is when the bosses start doing, like, unique stuff. He's made me blind along with him. This one sucks. So if I get near him, I get blinded is, is like the gimmick here. Which, that kind of sucks. I need to get near him to play the game. Hit him with the laser beam. Yeah, blast his ass. Yeah, blast his ass again. What's Boss Kenshi's phase three going to be? He's probably still going to blind me. Tell me it's just blind the whole time. It's just darkness the whole time. This sucks. This is the worst one. Because I can still play kind of in the darkness. But I can't see shit, which makes for a shitty video. I can't see a damn thing, but I'm still hitting the combo, goddammit. Tell me he's dead. We got him. Um, I'm not gonna show much of this fight because we couldn't see a damn thing. His entire gimmick was he made the screen go dark, and it was very annoying. There would be something worthwhile at the top of this tower, otherwise I'll be mad. In fact, we'll all be mad, because we're, we're sharing the experience. What is this one gonna be? Oh, great. Lightning bolts, along with a couple... Homing lightning bolts, great. I have nothing to say about that one. That one's uh, basic and easy. Raiden, champion of Earth Realm. Let's see how tough you actually are. How Welcome to the salty spittoon. How tough are you? Okay. Oh, he's just doing these stupid electricity things. Plus, he's got the sub zero that says freezing me. That's really gonna be annoying for combos. Exhibit A, but it's not the worst one. At least I could see, and that's kind of all that matters. This is the closest I've come to losing now that I'm actually looking at it. Hold up. Hold up, boss Raiden. Oh, and he has a phase three. I didn't think he'd have a phase three because phase two was so tough. It's more because I can't get like a complete combo on him. Okay, now he's electrifying everything because of course he is. He's Raiden. Will I be able to actually complete my combos? No, I won't. And his damage is getting a little out of hand. Abuse the Serena assist to maximum effect because we're going to need it. Let's see. It doesn't look like phase two is actually that, or phase three is actually that bad. It seems like just more phase two with more armor. But we got him. We, we shouldn't really have a problem here. Unless, like, we get really screwed. Oh, my God. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. I... The second phase was harder. And I don't really know where I took all that damage. I just took a lot of damage. That's really it. So I understand what, where the challenge comes from now. It's not necessarily that the tower itself, like the individual fights are hard. It's just how many fights there are that make it difficult. So first phase is usually not even really worth showing, but that's the challenge, because if I lose just one fight, that's it, it's over. So I have to win every single fight. All right, so this one was just a basic, boring endurance fight with like 16 Garruses. Um, nothing even a little bit interesting happened. All they were was tanky and it just took forever. So we're just gonna skip that one, okay? Okay. Oh, this is the real Garrus. It's similar to the Johnny one. Okay, the last one was obviously a fake. This is the real one now. He has so much HP. Oh my god, with all that HP, there is a second phase? Are you kidding me? That fight took me like two whole minutes. Ah, the timer. There might have been a third phase, but I won't get to see it because the, he has so much HP, the timer handled him. And of course, Fire God Liu Kang. Dude, Garrus was the most boring fight yet. He did nothing unique. He let me hit him a thousand times. He was just tanky. And if that's all that's going to be here, this got nothing on the MK9 challenge tower, I'll tell you that much. 
but at least I'm doing damage to Liu Kang. Garrus was just taking combo after combo with like barely a dent in his HP, dude. It was insane. Right, this will just break through any armor he does. Will this literally just break through his armor? This will break through any armor he has. Oh my goodness. Did we just find a way to cheese it on the last fight? Did we just find a way to cheese it on the last fight? Guys, if anyone's having trouble with this, then that's all you need to do is get him in the corner and just cheese the hell out of him. That's some dumb stuff, my friends. More importantly, Fire God Liu Kang, phase two. What's he gonna do? If he just lets me on fire, I'm not worried about that. This is like just no fun allowed, the fight. We're win we have the health lead, so all we gotta do is just not die and we win. This was disappointing. Letting him time out was easier than actually doing the fight. But I don't know about these fights, man. This this challenge tower was literally just like, hey, you should have used a buff before you walked in here. Otherwise, these fights are going to take forever. I don't know what the final reward is going to be. A test your might at the very top. Is this going to be the hardest test your might of all time? I'm not trying it again if I fail. This took me like an hour. Test your <laughs> but let's see. Okay. We got it. First try. Let's go. Excellent. If I failed that, I would have deleted the game. <laughs> Okay, final moment of truth. We got a pretty cool Sub-Zero skin. And a pretty cool Scorpion skin. And a pretty cool... Okay, we got... It get, we got four skins for it, so it, it kind of is worth doing. But it's a pain in the ass. Like, it's genuinely just... A, it's, it's not fun, because all the fights have, like, gimmicks that aren't interesting. They're, oh, haha, we'll interrupt your combo for no reason. Oh, you can't see now, haha. I don't know. I feel like this game would have benefited from having, like, actual boss characters. The MK9 Challenge Tower, this is not. I enjoy doing this. I don't know if I'm going to do this tower every season. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this tower? At max level, nothing's going to change because your max level is 30. The tower is level 65, so everyone's just going to be a... And it's just going to be a tank. Like, it takes way too long to, to beat anybody. They all have three phases, which is interesting, but not difficult in a fun way. It's like artificial difficulty, if that makes sense. It's like they bumped up the numbers, but didn't actually change anything. They bumped up the numbers and added armor to moves that shouldn't have armor, but didn't actually change anything. So, I don't know. Um, Depending on the rewards, I might have to do it every season. Like, we got four skins for that. That's... You know, that's nothing to sneeze at, but man, I don't know. How would you guys improve upon the challenge tower? Because I was a little let down by it. I'm not let down by the rewards. Four skins is great, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Will you be completing the challenge tower? Will you just skip the headache? Because this was not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. But let me know in the comments below, guys. Subscribe for Mortal Kombat coverage in the future. Um, that's basically all I got for now. See you guys next time. Till then, everybody.